Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to try out another Believe Beauty makeup product that I got from Dollar General. This is the Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer that I got in the shade Golden Sienna. And it's a radiant highlighting and bronzing powder that creates a warm ambient glow. And it looks beautiful. I'm so excited about it. It cost $4.75. I saw online that it comes in three different shades. I think this one here, Golden Sienna, is the lightest version. But I love trying out Dollar General makeup, and I love the brand Believe Beauty, which is the Dollar General exclusive makeup brand. And my face right now, I just have on my foundation and concealer, and I feel like I need to add some warmth, some dimension to my face. So I'm really hoping to be able to achieve that with this. Before I actually apply it to my face, let's go ahead and do a swatch. Ooh, has a very nice buttery texture. Yes, very pretty. It definitely has some like metallic sheen to it, which I think should look really pretty and glowy on the skin. Not too crazy pigmented, so I feel like it should suit my skin tone pretty nicely and seems to blend out well, be a good like in between kind of more warm tone, but not super warm tone. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how it looks on me. <laughs> my brush, don't mind it. This is from Wet n Wild. It's my favorite like bronzer contour brush. I got this at the dollar store years ago and it's in great quality except for how the white has come off. <laughs> the, like this part here. But other than that, it's an amazing brush. So let's go ahead and see how this looks. First, I'm gonna apply a little bronzer contour to the cheeks. right onto the outer cheekbone basically so I, I used to go right under the cheekbone but now i just feel like this suits my face shape so much better it warms up the skin but it also really gives that contour look at how it just like narrows out my face so that's been a good bronzer hack but i don't know i don't feel like that is showing up too much let's go ahead and build it up It looks really nice. It doesn't look very warm tone or shiny though on the skin. It's actually like creating a really great contour shadow effect. I was expecting more of like a bronzing effect, but that's actually very nice and contouring. Let's go ahead and apply it to the top of my forehead. Like I am using a lot of product. I am not going in with a light hand and it's easy to blend and definitely looks like a contour. It's not really giving that warmed up sun kissed look to the skin, but it is giving that dimension. Let's go in with the other cheek. I love that it's super blendable and it is buildable, but I just think it's not a very pigmented intense bronzer, which is actually fine by me because I don't want my bronzer to look too obvious or unnatural. And this looks very natural and it doesn't even look like anything on the skin. It's a very invisible texture. I was expecting more shine since this did claim to be like a highlighter, but I would say it's pretty matte, right? Like it's not giving any glow on the skin. <laughs> so this, it's definitely turning out to be different than what I was expecting, but I'm really liking this as a contour. I'm gonna even contour the nose. So I just like to go beneath the nose in a little bit on each side. 
And then I seriously just contour the entire perimeter of my face. So I'm also going to use this under the jaw and under the chin. So overall, I would say I'm very pleasantly surprised by this and really happy with my finished look. I was saying I wanted to add dimension to my skin and this gave me exactly that. I think my face looks so different just using this one product to add that dimension. It did warm up my skin a bit, but it's not a very warm brown. It's more of a like shadow brown. If I had to say if it was warm tone or cool tone, I would actually lean more towards it being cool toned. And I would say that this golden sienna, which is kind of a deceiving name since it's not very golden, is a great shade for very fair skin because it wasn't super pigmented, not super intense, but I think it is a perfect shade to go with my fair skin tone. And for $4.75, I am so impressed. Love this as a contour. I know I'm going to continue using it because I'm just so happy with how it looks. And I actually don't really have like many powder contours in my collection. I have bronzers, but those are like more sun-kissed, warmed up the skin type of effect. I have like cream contours, but this is just so easy. I would still probably go in with a more like warm tone, sun-kissed type of bronzer on top of this, but this to give that shape to my face, I think is perfect. So I'm really excited about this. If you've tried it out, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And since I really don't have many powder contour shades, I'd really like to hear in the comments down below if you have any favorite powder contours that you like to use. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.